government agencies which work with all parts of the food chain to ensure the integrity of what we put on our dinner plates. The Agricultural Marketing Service is the USDA's marketing agency. It's known for setting grades and standards. Whenever you buy a steak, you usually look to see if it's prime or choice or select. And so that steak is in there. For chicken, it's grade A. And for eggs, it's grade A as well. And so it's you know, all those type of products there are. For fruits and vegetables, not so much. People look at the shape, the quality, the defects that are associated with it. And all those, the shape, the defects, et cetera, all have a value in the marketplace that is assigned by AMS graders. It's inspected by AMS graders at both the origin as well as the terminal market. What their work does touches the life of every American every day. AMS plays a role um, with uh, the agricultural industry in ensuring that the, the highest quality and, and, and the most consistent high quality uh, product uh, is, uh, is provided uh, to consumers. Uh, in doing that, AMS plays a facilitating role. Uh, we are, for the most part, not a regulatory agency, uh, but we do things which are supportive to uh, the, uh, the, uh, the movement of product uh, from farm to table. The National School Lunch Program is an important example of how the food supply chain can be managed to ensure safety and food wholesomeness. Since 1946, uh, Congress has determined that there ought to be a National School Lunch Program. And so in order to ensure that needy kids are fed uh, throughout the um, school year, we go in and we work with school districts and we work with the Food and Nutrition Service in order to determine what kind of foods that they might need uh, for, their, for their diet, for their uh, desire uh, in the school lunch program. And so we work uh, year-round ensuring that they are able to obtain the, the, their requests, whether it be chicken nuggets, whether it be fajita strips, whether it be ground beef hamburgers, whether it be uh, canned applesauce. We purchase about $700 million worth of food. Uh, for the National School Lunch Program uh, every year. We buy the best quality ground beef for school kids. Quality and value go hand in hand. And the quality has to meet the needs of our customer. And our customers, we feel, are the school kids. We visit Cherry Meats in Chicago to discover how food safety and food wholesomeness are ensured through every step of the food chain. Cherry Meats is a major supplier to the school lunch program. The company actually started, uh, was started by my grandfather and was during the Depression. He had a, a horse and buggy and he sold meats off the horse and buggy uh, to people uh, on the street. Our products uh, uh, generally are for uh, school systems and for food service use. We make uh, hamburger patties, we make uh, sausage items, and, uh, uh, and we also make products that go uh, for retail use. We demand that we bring in the best product we can get and we've got a great partnership with uh, uh, a couple beef suppliers and we do stay strictly within those companies. In other words, we don't go on the outside and, and try to get the cheapest product we can. We, we customize uh, um, our suppliers uh, into training them what we need. Uh, they make it for us the way we need it and then we just maintain that quality throughout the process. The quality and safety of the meat here does not rely solely on inspection. Dr. John Surak, food safety consultant at Surak Associates in Clemson, South Carolina, says that food safety cannot be inspected into a product. And end product testing is costly, time consuming and not reliable. All of the inspection of final product usually brings a false sense of security. We don't normally test enough product to be able to make a decision on what is happening with a specific lot. Our inspection systems, which were very good and have always been very good, always focused on product inspection, product control. So the biggest change and that was important to the ground beef program is that we learned to get uh, complying product, it had to come from a process that complied. In other words, you cannot inspect product to comply, it has to be produced to comply. So that's where we're changed now to go to more of a process control. They use supply chain management. Supply chains, of course, are the whole linkage from the beginning of your raw material production through the process to the final delivery to the end customer. The idea of a supply chain management system is you're managing not only the logistics, the flow of the material throughout the system, but also, is the material as it moves from one point to the other the right material in the right condition so the next part of the process can properly handle it? 
supply chain quality management is a very important contributor to providing safe food. If you have your uh, process well known, identified, and under control, you create a situation where you're very, very unlikely to create a contaminated product. Sealed tubs of boneless beef arrive at the Cherry Meats loading dock in refrigerated trucks. The meat comes from a packing house that has been chosen carefully to meet Cherry Meats requirements. In fact, they have built a vendor-customer relationship together to be sure that all meat entering the processing system is always at the standards that Cherry wants for its school lunch customer. It is important that the boneless beef coming into the operation be of acceptable quality. Uh, have uh, and that as it goes through their operation they know what is happening as far as uh, cleanliness uh, and uh, pathogen levels and that they are not introducing any uh, problems and that the final product as it goes into the patty or to the uh, uh, ground, coarse ground beef package is uh, of a good quality low pathogens, uh, the right level of fats, etc. The boneless beef is lifted into a grinder. One beef product is coarse ground, which will be turned into one pound and 10 pound chubs, ground beef that can be used for any number of food dishes, such as lasagna, meatballs, chili, and meat sauces. More finely ground beef will be made into hamburgers. The main uh, uh, thing that we want to monitor and maintain is temperature. Uh, not only of the product, but the, the uh, coolers that it's stored in, uh, and the time that it's stored in that cooler. Uh, if, we, if we can keep anything 40 degrees or less, uh, we're going to minimize any kind of bacterial growth. We have a lot of long, long time employees. Uh, when we do hire, we do put them through uh, food safety handling instruction. Uh, they're on a, on a uh, for the first week, they are watched very closely to make sure they do follow all the rules and regulations that we've set in addition to meat inspection uh, and AMS. Hair nets, uh, beard nets, um, uh, uh, gloves, sanitary gloves, uh, removing of all garments once they leave a production area, washing their hands when they re-enter, putting new gloves on once they enter. Uh, all this is very, very important. What we try to do is eliminate as much of the handling of the product as we can. Over the years, we've mechanized um, to such an extent where our patty operation, uh, for example, once the patties are formed, they are never touched. They go through the freezing process, the packaging process, the bagging process, the boxing process without ever being touched by human hands. Nobody touching meat with a bare hand. You notice these things. Uh, you would notice the, uh, how, how the people would walk around the plant and that and being very careful and uh, meticulous, even from the extent trying not to breathe on meat. We identify what are the potential hazards in a food product. Then we design control procedures to control those hazards, either by preventing their incorporation into the food product or by eliminating through processing steps. And we, impl we implement those control procedures and we verify that the system is working day in and day out. Both the USDA and the FDA use HACCP standards for food. That means hazard analysis and critical control point. This has been strengthened with the ISO 22000 Food Safety Management System. Those of us who worked on ISO 22000, we made a commitment to revise that standard every five years. And the object is to bring all these new technologies and describe it into a standard so it can be used by food processors like cherry meats to improve food safety we uh, do what's known as an on-site capability assessment where an auditor will actually come out and, uh, and essentially it's the old uh, saying do what you say and say what you do and if you wrote down and saying you're going to do everything we merely check out to make sure you actually do it. Throughout the temperature is steadily lowered starting at about 40 degrees refrigeration temperature to 28 degrees just below freezing. The chilling helps to form better hamburgers and reduces microbial growth. The patties are machine formed while the temperature keeps dropping to around zero degrees. Once the patties are formed, they are conveyed through liquid nitrogen that's a frigid 200 degrees below zero. Our patty line actually goes through a freeze tunnel, we call it. Uh, it's on a conveyor system and it's in that tunnel for approximately seven minutes. And all it is is a conveyor belt that goes around and around and around and up. 
and the patties go in at the lower level as it's going up the seven minutes it finally comes out the top frozen at zero degrees.